Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody today emailed me and they sent me a picture of a bumper sticker. And it's such a bad picture, I didn't even include it. But um, this, these two letters, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool logo. I think it's for a high school somewhere. Came off a bumper sticker. But they're not welded together. There's actually some, uh, you know, contouring. So I did this actually on my first try. So I thought, I'm going to make a video about it. So I've taken the same two letters. They're Time New, Times New Romans. I've already bolded them. We need to, you can lasso both of them and left click and then right click. And I don't know why that was already. Nope. Okay. So you've got those two undone. Now let's take and go to Effects, Contour. And I've already got it ready. It's, I've contoured it to the outside, one step, 0 0.04. Take the V and just hit apply because you're already ready. Now you need to go, I don't really think this will work, go to object, see it's breaking four apart. Let's just select on one, object, break contour apart. Select on the other one, object, break contour apart. Now we're going to go ahead and convert these to curves because it's going to help us later when we're cutting them apart. So let's get this a little closer now so we can kind of see what we're doing. And it is a little bit tricky, I'll have to admit. And I think I only got one and I did. You have to kind of lasso the whole thing to move it. We're going to move the V down to about, about there. I'm not trying to repro reproduce it exactly. You know what, I need to keep an eye on that. We'll get rid of the contour doctor, contour docker. Now you're going to, this is kind of like a trial and error. So what we're going to do, and I always do this, control D and make a duplicate of this thing. Because you might mess it up. And then you just got to kind of visualize lines that you don't need. Like we don't need these cross lines. We don't need this line because it's an inside or it's an outside black line. We don't need this line. We don't need this little line here, little line here. We don't need this line. So it's kind of trial and error that you're thinking, you know, just kind of the way. So we don't need this little short line. So anything that's going to be black, you don't need that line. Anything that's going to be white, Anything that's going to be white, you don't need that line. Whoop. And it helps to uh, zoom in. Now we'll go up here, and I know I don't need that line. I don't need that line. Uh, and then you can just try it. I don't think I need that line. Whoop. I don't think I need that little bitty line. I don't need that line. And I don't need this line. I think that's going to work. I'm not sure if I don't, I don't even think I need this line. And well, I want to need it for a second because it's actually holding that. Then go down and get your smart fill tool and fill this in. Fill this in. Whoop. See, I've got a leak somewhere. Somewhere right in here. It's, I should have, I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have done that line right there. So we can put one back. Let's try this. We need a, we'll go down here and get our straight line connector. And we need a line from there to there. And might need a line from there to there. Get our smart fill tool. Fill that in. Yep. And then we can go back and delete these lines we don't need. And once your smart fill tool is done, it won't really bleed out. And like I said, this is kind of like trial and error. You never really kind of know what you're going to get. And then you would control G to group those together. But it's a pretty neat logo, and you could do this with any letters. Uh, but as I'm going to stress, make a copy, because if I would have messed up and gone too far, you can just start over, and then you would just 
trash that one, make a copy of that, and bring it over. But that's a pretty neat way to uh, have somebody's logo. I'll I think I'll use that in the future. So I hope that hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.